Hi everyone, so here I am going to attempt a fuel line repair. I've got some hose. I got two feet, but I'm, I'm kind of wondering if that's enough because it could be a whole foot just to get to the other side. But I have to see. At least it's in the upper 20s. Nice, bright, and sunny day. But it's going to be clouding up quickly, and, and we're going to get uh, possibly another foot of snow between tonight and tomorrow. So, here we go again. But, uh, picked up a couple of clips and the hose. So, it doesn't look like anything's leaking, so the pen and the electrical tape seems to be hanging in there, but... Let's see if I can get this done. I have to start draining the gas tank. I don't to put too much in there. So I'm going to get back to you when I have this apart. So I took the gas tank off, makes it nice and accessible to be able to feed this or, or fish this hose through to the other side where the carburetor is. And here's where it hooks up to the carburetor, pointing in the right in the direction so it's a straight run from the carburetor over to the other side of the gas tank. I just have to take this hose clamp off. And that's it. I'm just wondering if I should uh, tape the new hose to this side and pull it through if that's the easiest way. Whether or not it's uh, easily going to be just pushed through. I don't know. I'll, I'll see. I'll give it a little bit of a tug once I remove that clamp. So I electrical taped the new hose to the old hose here and hopefully I can just pull this through and I won't catch on anything. Nope, I got it. I just needed to put the camera down, use two hands, and uh, keep this as horizontal or as straight as an angle as possible so it wasn't catching on any sharp corners going through there, but it's through. And that's... Like 90% of the uh, job, I guess. Get that hose through. So I'm pretty much done here. I've got the filter. I've got the hose through. I have it attached to the carburetor. I've already put the shut off. The gas tank in. I left this a little long because I'm paranoid that I'm going to need some extra hose, but I think it's going to be out of the way. Then I can just put the covers back on. So I'm all set. Two points of interest here. The filter and the shutoff do have arrows on them pointing uh, to the flow of gas toward the carburetor. So make sure you get those arrows correct. I've got a little extra here. It's a little hanging, uh, hanging a little bit low. Um, I don't know if that bothers me or not. I don't think snow is going to be a, an issue. But that's that. I've got everything set. I did buy this gas stabilizer. I want to use it's just a half an ounce for 2.5 gallons so I just put a splash of that in the gas can and uh, should be all set hopefully so I can hear other snow blows in the distance running everyone's making sure they're they're not gonna have any surprises like I did the last storm so let's see one pull And the pen seemed to have held up. I don't see it uh, didn't get soft or anything. I want to hold on to this. So this is New England Gardening preparing for the second major snowstorm of 2015. Thanks for watching.
And it seems as if the old adage still applies in some cases if you want it done right. You have to do it yourself.